Hi guys, it's me Karen and I've come to show you a beautiful book that I received in the mail. So, happy mail. I'm pretty sure you've all seen the book, but I'm going to go ahead and do a quick little flip through on it. And I want to thank the person who sent it to me, but I uh, wasn't a note or anything in there, so the person obviously wants to stay anonymous, but I want to thank them. And I assume they watch my videos, so... Thank you so much. You'll notice the cover has got that gorgeous foil on it, so it has that nice pretty sparkles when you look at it. And there's a very soft pink in the background, and the foiling is a rose gold color. Absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to flip uh, through the book really quick. The um, sleeve here opens up, and you have a beautiful flower on the inside uh, flower garden you can color and of course this is all <laughs> the world of flowers by Joanna Basford so full of flowers well, let's get the book kind of over here a little more and then you'll be able to see better so I'm going to uh, use some ink tents probably in this book gorgeous introduction and tips for coloring and then, of course, the beautiful butterfly over on this side, all the flowers. Cute little succulents over here. <laughs> and she's got the wreath, flowers. I believe she did this as a color long on her page. You can check out Joanna Basford on Instagram. And you can probably check out the flower book and see all these pictures colored. I love this one. And then they have some tiny pictures. Now I know it looks intimidating, but these are my favorite kind. You can spend uh, a couple hours just coloring the little box right there. And then the next day come and color this one. Or a week later you can color this one. You know, And by the time you are nice and relaxed, the whole page will be done. I love those kind of pages. And then she has some of these wall color pages, circular ones here, and then just gorgeous uh, flowers going out throughout the book. Double spreads, if you call that a double spread, it's a single, but you can do these and to match, or these are perfect for framing. If you did these, you could frame them as a set on your wall. Love that idea. And then we're gonna flip through this kind of fast. We have some nice little bugs. You know how much I like my bugs. Love this page too. And then we have a simple page here and you could add your own picture inside here. Put a butterfly in here or you could make a little scene with some bunny rabbits or something for Easter. It'll be really cute. And this little truck. <laughs> it's adorable. Then we have this fish. I will definitely be doing that one. And there's a gorgeous bird in here too. Another page with the little bits and pieces you can color. Valentine's Day or anniversary or something. Anyway, any of these pictures would be absolutely gorgeous framed on your wall. I like this one a lot too. And then you have the kind that sprawl across and I've seen people just do like watercolors coming up and down and the flowers going through. Distressing would look really nice on that. <laughs> this is really pretty too. And then just look at that. Wow. All those flowers. I really love this bird too. This is really nice. Another wreath. This one would look really pretty framed with the other ones with the boxes on them. This is just gorgeous. And then you have, if you were really good at cutting, you could probably cut it right down that line and then have a four panel that you could hang up on the wall. This is pretty. We've got little fishies down here. I've seen people color that. Love that page. Sorry, flipping faster. I thought this one was adorable with the house in it. I've seen a lot of people do these and I'll do just the little pictures and then finish the page, which is really nice. 
this is going to be my first picture and book right here. I won't be doing that today, but that's the first one I'm going to color. And then we have even one for Halloween. <laughs> Another house here and here. And then it's the uh, end of the book test page, which we're going to color today. I'm going to try some ink tents on that little flower down there. This page is a fold out um, page. So you have this side and you also have the opposite side. So either one of those is a full double spread in the back of the book. And then the back cover is another flower garden. And then she tells you the other books she has. And then the back cover. Okay, so we're going to sit down. I'll get you a little closer. I have my ink tents right here in this little pouch. And we are going to color this little dude down here. So I'll get the camera down a little bit. Since it's such a small picture, it might be hard for you to see anything going on to it. If it was up as far as it was up. Okay, and then I will get out um, some kind of greens. A light olive and I need a darker one. I don't know. I don't know these ink colors that well. I usually have to write, push them down on a piece of paper. And we'll get out a plastic. I do all the stuff on these little plastic sheets just to double check and make sure I got the right colors I want. And we're just going to do the leaves here real quick. And that is the light olive there. And I picked an iron green, which is probably, it's either going to be a dark green or a blue. I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're just going to pick up some of that olive green here and stick that down on the leaf. And then pick up some of this. Yeah, it's got some. Well, we're just going to go with this. Get it darker down here. Maybe I'll get a, a bit of a different color out when I find it a little later. But we're just doing an ink test. So we'll get these leaves done. I want to see how the paper is going to uh, do with the water along with if this will bleed through at all. A couple layers of water, a couple layers of ink. And then we'll do the stem real quick. We up and around. It's okay if I go out of bounds, it's a test page. <laughs> And a little up here at the top. And we'll bring it down into the flower a little bit. And then we'll get a pink color to go in there. And what do I have here? A deep rose. Why not? It kind of reminds me of tulip. So we'll get that on there. Ooh, that's a pretty color. And then we'll bring in some of the pink. just like that and as soon as I get this little petal done here we will just see how that worked it's kind of cool okay I'll squeeze out the extra ink off that brush cap it I know it's still wet and you can see the water on that but I want to turn it around 
and we do have um, buckling on there but we will see in a little bit when that dries if the buckling relaxes on the page at all some books it um, you can put that much water on and when the page dries it'll dry flatter and then when you close the book and put some weight on it it'll flatten out the page completely so I just gotta wait for that to dry the bleed color didn't bleed through so we will figure that out also if you kind of rub it when it's a little damp it stretches out um, some of the paper there too this one flower is too uh, wet to do that with but I did that with the uh, leaves and you'll notice that the leaves flattened out a little bit more so a little buckling is um, kind of what I expected but I also can iron that out so cool it's a cute little picture thanks for watching guys and thank you again for sending me the book whoever it was I really appreciate it and I will have some fun time coloring in here so I hope you all have a great day thanks for watching guys bye now